Stop! Alvin! 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 Ship Monk? Where's the S? There's three of you. But Simon says. Theodore! But Simon says. Shut up. But Simon, shut up. Alvin, where's the S? Simon says it fell. Why didn't you put it back up? We were busy making the game. Oh, you mean this disaster? The movie's decent, has a nice story, few funny gags, a happy ending, and their new look is okay, but just horrid when they're thugs. Theodore, did you just... Relax, Dave. It's just a razor. Prove it. <gasps> okay. Dude, you owe me big time. The game, however, is garbage. You know what I've always wondered? Why do they call it Alvin and the Chipmunks? Why not just the Chipmunks? The and separates Alvin from the Chipmunks as if Alvin is not a Chipmunk. Something like that? The objective is to press the R and L buttons when the corresponding colored stars are aligned with their target. The better the timing, the more points you'll receive. That's it. That's the entire game. Not only is it way too simple, it doesn't work. At easy mode, there's only pink and yellow stars. So why are the green and blue targets still there? Why not have less pink and yellow stars to include the blue and green ones so all four targets are utilized? Then the game isn't limited to the bottom half of the screen. Damn, hard mode doesn't fuck around. There's way too many stars. How is anyone, let alone a kid, supposed to hit all these stars? It's giving me a migraine. I just got my ass kicked, yet I still beat the level. Even if you do get a good score, the chipmunks don't even do a victory dance or anything. Alvin smashes his guitar on the ground, deceiving you into thinking you did something wrong, until he by himself cheers for two seconds, reminding you that it's actually the game that is wrong not you. Every once in a while, there's a pointless cutscene only to justify story mode as a story mode. The stars blend in with the moving background, which makes them hard to see, move toward all four corners of the screen, which makes focusing on them nearly impossible, most of the time, don't even match the beat of the music, which throws you off, and most of the time, you can't even hit two simultaneously because they hit their target at different timing. Sometimes they keep moving to one side of the screen, and they then suddenly, just to tease you, one, hard to notice, will move to the other, and you'll miss it. Their mouths don't even synchronize with the singing. The controls are fine for the PS2, but suck for the Wii. Moving on, the graphics are horrid. They couldn't even make bottoms for the drums. And jagged lines are everywhere. The chipmunks play their instruments completely out of tune to the music because they repeat the same primitive animation during every song, jumping wildly even when the songs are slow paced. The music is beyond annoying. It would be less irritating listening to a constipated hyena laughing hysterically, trying to take a shit but just can't while giving birth to four giant quadruplets. And where's the Chipmunks theme song? How can you have a Chipmunks music game without their theme song? Fuck this garbage! They've ruined many classic songs when they should have been playing their own. Red Blue and green. Get it? Cleverly embarrassing. At video mode, all you do is watch the chipmunks play the music. Look, no one's even watching. Alvin and the chipmunks? Alvin and the chipmunks. Alvin and the Chipmunks. More like Alvin and the Shitmunks! I'd rather walk up to an ass and implant my ass up against the ass of the ass and let that ass take a shit up my ass than play this piece of ass ever again. Oh, hey guys. Look, I'm sorry for yelling at you, alright? Just, please, no more video games, for mankind's sake.